TV. On today's segment of Have You Heard, we're here with Christine Heaton to talk about the transition to a new learning management system. Thanks for being here, Christine. Thanks, Krista. All right, so first of all, just as a recap, can you talk a little bit about what's happening to look at which learning management system we wanted to transition to. So there was a committee and the LMS committee evaluated a lot of different products and they chose Canvas as the replacement for Angel. So Angel will go away on June 15th of 2015 and we'll start using Canvas as our new learning management system um, starting May term of this year. Awesome. So now let's talk a little bit about um, Canvas, the new learning management system. Um, first of all, do you consider, would you consider Canvas to be an improvement on Angel? Yes, absolutely. There's a lot more features uh, that are user friendly and it's easy for faculty and students to work with their courses online. Um, it also has a portfolio component, so now students will be able to use um, some of the submissions that they have for their classes very easily into a portfolio that they can send links out to prospective employers or uh, admissions committees for graduate school. It's a really nice product. Awesome. So uh, a couple of other cool features about Canvas, I've heard that there is like a discussion, um, like a video discussion. Um, how do you think that that will benefit um, not only professors but students in learning? Oh, well, what will be great about this uh, meeting feature that it has, you can do virtual meetings from within your classes. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things, like for example, on snow days, uh, everyone gets a little bit nervous about falling behind, so they can have meeting sessions virtually from home, which is nice. They don't have to worry about trying to travel to campus on tough days. Um, another thing that would be helpful is with our residency programs for MBA, they meet just one Saturday, and so they can communicate now um, through their campus courses from wherever they live in the U.S., so it's really nice. Very cool. All right. Um, would you say that Canvas is any more difficult to use than Angel? Actually, I think it's a lot easier. Um, most of the folks that we have tested, some students and faculty members, have found it to be very easy. Uh, it has a lot more um, intuitive interface, so you can find what you're looking for a little bit easier than in Angel. Good. So um, is there going to be any sort of training, um, not only for faculty, but um, any helpful resources for students in order to learn how to use Canvas? Absolutely. We have a web page set up right now, which is at www.milligan.edu forward slash Canvas. Uh, you'll find all the information about the training sessions we have. We have an online student orientation course, which will be available for you in May, which is when students will be able to log into Canvas. We also have three student trainers that are going to be roving around campus in August and we'll publish the schedule of where they're at. Sometimes they'll be over in the cafeteria, the sub, the Durfick Public Lab. So you'll have a, a student trainer available to help you make sure you can get logged in and you can use the features of Canvas. That's good. That should be really helpful yeah. for students. <laughs> um, is there anything else that you would like to add about Canvas or um, any concerns that you think students might have that you can put to rest? No, I think you'll find it a lot easier to use and um, especially with the portfolio feature, that's a really nice add for us and for the students. And if you have any questions, or need any assistance, please do give us a call on the help desk or you can call me as well over at um, in the Durthic 106A, which is where my office is. I'm a little different. I'm not in the IT department. Uh, and my number is 8762 on campus. Okay, cool. Well, thank you again for being here, Christine. Okay, thank you for having me. We'll be right back with sports.